I think first I'm going to work on her face. Um, and I got some pictures uh, off the web yesterday that I, I kind of, I really like this young lady here. She played Pocahontas in uh, uh, the movie uh, The New World, I think it was called. And uh, she also played a Hawaiian princess, uh, a real Hawaiian princess that uh, lived in the 1800s and who was the last, I think, the last, am I wrong? I don't know. Anyway, um, I really like the structure of her face and that's what I'm going to look at right now and uh, play around with uh, some of those features. I'm not going to make a portrait of her, I'm just using it as a guide for my face. <laughs>
Remember when you're doing eyes, if you got the eye looking in a direction, the whole structure of the eye lid and the bottom lid change because of the uh, shape of the eyeball and its uh, effect on it when it changes direction. Now I got her looking off this way to the side and that changes the structure. This side will be just a little wider this side will be just a little narrower and the same with this as well. So just something to keep in mind Alright, I'm going to make the uh, braids, and braids are just, well, you just make braids. And I'm going to just clean off my cutting board because I like to keep it uh, clean. Rolling clay, is, is a, it takes time to learn how to do it properly, and you just have to learn how to do it. It takes time. I'm going to add just a little more clay to it. And what I want to do is I want to have it a little bit wider on this end, and it works out to narrow down on the other end. But the key is trying to do this without having this sort of flop around and uh, screwing up your braid. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, three pieces and I'm going to just stick them on the clay anywhere. And that's just so they hold in place. Then I'll take uh, and just braid them. And I want to make it as tight as I can. And I'm not over overly worried about that either. And you just take your time. You don't over, don't rush it. You're not doing real hairs, so you can't uh, do it as fast as you might if you were. I can't really tell from the picture because the picture is really granulated because it's. I wasn't thinking about the braid. Uh, the structure of the braid, but I'm trying to see how that's working out. She's braiding it like that. Okay. Sorry, the battery died on me just as I was doing this. So, but anyway, um, just trying to see how that's constructed. It looks like she's taking some hair. Wrap this around. A braid that go down, goes down here, and this goes inside that knot. They've got hair coming from underneath, from the center, tightly coming down to make the first entry into the braid. And I just need to do that. I'm just guessing because I, I'm I got a. A good picture, but it's just uh, I wasn't concentrating on the hair, so it's not focused on the hair. And uh, then there's a braid going underneath here and coming out here, like that. So, in other words, it comes down here underneath this strand of hair or this swash of hair comes underneath comes around here like that I think and that's just the, the way I interpret the picture 
Um, that looks like another braid. Comes tightly from under here and around and underneath that swash of hair. like to me. And then she takes this hair here from behind her head and brings it up and over. And that starts the braid there. Well, that's what that braid's doing. Okay. It's coming around there. Okay, I got that. So that's what this braid's doing. It's going underneath that swatch of hair there. Okay. Alright, I got the uh, hair as far as I can get it right now, and um, I'll work on it a little bit more as time goes by. Uh, I'm sure I'll get input from uh, the ladies in the audience who watch my videos, and, and I know I have uh, uh, people who know what, I'm, what they're doing uh, who could, you know, advise me. So that's going to be it for the week. I'll pick this up Monday or Tuesday. I never give a date exactly if I'm going to be here because I never know what's going to come up at the last minute. How cool is that? couple of mules drawing a wagon. What are these? these are draft cross mules. They were probably Belgian uh, Belgian mares and, and a mammoth jack. Oh, wow. They're 20 years old. I had a cowboy friend. He wouldn't ride horses. He rode mules. What's that? I had a cowboy friend that rode mules. Yeah. They were much smarter than a horse. Absolutely. They were very reliable. And well, go ahead. Just looks right, like it's clear. Well, I gotta, come on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Thank you. Take care. All right. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Thank you.